Thank you for joining me today on Style Optique TV on what glasses suit your face shape. Now, before we begin, I do have a confession to make because this is one of my most disliked questions. And the reason is, is because I think it's the completely wrong question to ask, because actually most people have no idea what their face shape is. And when I say most people, this also includes many professionals, image consultants, um, opticians, hairdressers, makeup artists. A lot of people actually struggle to analyze someone's specific face shape. And there's two main reasons for this. Number one, most people don't fit into a specific face shape. Most of us are in fact a mix of angles and curves. And the second reason is face shape is subjective and it can seem to vary depending upon the way we hold ourselves, the angles we turn our heads in and also our hairstyles. And this is one of the reasons I really kind of dislike the, the face shape apps and things like that. But don't fear because there is a better way. I have given the face shape rules a facelift. So my name is Eva DeVay. I am an image consultant and optometrist and I'm the owner of an award-winning styling opticians and I'm also the creator and founder of Eyewear Styling Academy, which is a global training platform in eyewear styling. So I'm going to share with you today my seven top tips for the perfect, most flattering eyewear for you. And I hope you enjoy it. So tip number one is scale. And this is one of the most important things to get right when it comes to finding your perfect, almost flattering eyewear. So scale is essentially the relative size of an object compared to another object. So in the case of glasses, it's the size of your glasses in relation to the size and uh, well, size of your face and your features. So, and in style, it's scale is something we can really use to make objects or certain aspects of our face appear larger than we want them to, or smaller than we want them to, or indeed exactly the same size as they are. So when it comes to scale and eyewear, ideally you want your eyewear to be in balance and harmony with your natural scale. So what is your natural scale? Whether you well, well you are either large in scale, petite in scale, or average in scale. If you're average in scale, you're very lucky. Um, but if you are someone who is large in scale, you often have a larger than normal bone structure, and you often have larger features, so fuller lips and a, a larger nose and nice big eyes. So if this is you, you probably found in the past that you've struggled to find glasses which fit you. Often the width in them can come up a little bit too small. And if you're a if you're a female, you may have had to resort to unflattering men's frames in the past. So it's important if you're larger in scale that you wear eyewear in balance and harmony with your natural scale. So glasses that are wider, glasses that are thicker looking, so thicker looking metals or acetates or plastics are a lot better than very fine rimless or fine delicate looking frames which can actually appear to make your scale look even bigger or you know appear to add more weight to the face. So if you are petite in scale you are someone that has a very fine bone structure and there are some examples on the screen here very fine bone structure and smaller features smaller eyes smaller nose um, smaller lips and you've often struggled to find glasses which fit you in terms of size they all look oversized on you and they dominate your face and often many of you have had to resort to children's glasses. So if your scale is petite, then you need to look for glasses which are finer in size, finer and more delicate in size. And you want to really avoid those oversized, big, chunky acetates and metals. The second thing for the most flattering eyewear is to get the depth of the glasses right. Now, the depth, of course, is the vertical height from the top of the lens 
to or the top of the frame to the bottom of the frame. And ideally, again, for balance and harmony to be achieved, and you'll hear this word a lot, for balance and harmony to be achieved, we want the depth of the frame to be in balance and harmony with the length of the face. So um, I'm showing you some images on screen now, the long face and average face and short face. And I want you to see if you can identify which of those you fit into. Now, if you are someone who has a long face, your face is often significantly longer than it is wide. So for balance and harmony to be achieved, we want to have frames which work in balance with our, the length of our face. So if you have a longer face, deeper frames are going to work better. If you go for very narrow frames, it can appear to make your face look even longer. So a longer face, deeper frames. The other thing to think about if you have a very long face is also the profile of your face here, like when you're, you know, on a side view to somebody. Um, in that case, thicker sides can appear to, to shorten the length of your face a little bit as well. Now, if you are someone with a very short face, you often have equal length to width. So when you look at yourself head on in the mirror, your, your length of your face and your width of your self, face will seem almost equal. So really, if you've got a shorter face, you need shorter frames or more narrower in depth frames because that will give more length to the face. OK, the other thing you can do to create more length to your face is just wear a little bit more open tops here because that just gives more length to this entire area. Now, if you have a very short face and you wear really oversized or deep, deeper frames, it can you know, it just can really sort of take over and dominate your face. So think about the size of your frame in relation to the length of your face. If you have an average length face that's just slightly longer than wide, you can play around a little bit with depth. But again, don't go to the extremes. Now, a little note on depth is however deep you go in frames, a frame should not move when you smile. So when you're selecting eyewear, always do the smile test. If you smile and the frames move upwards, they are too deep for you. And this can cause huge issues in very focals and things like that where, where the lens placement is extremely important. Tip number three is width. So what is the perfect width for you? Well, first of all, what we want to avoid is anything too wide, because when we go for frames that are too wide, it can not cause issues with fit, like slipping down the nose. But cosmetically, it can also make our eyes look too close together and give us that kind of cross-eyed look, which isn't particularly flattering. And again, we want to really avoid frames which are too narrow for us. So frames which are too narrow for us can appear to add extra weight to the face, which of course we want to avoid. But also they can cause the sides to splay outwards, which can cause those annoying, painful dents in the side of the head and also you know, lines which don't look particularly attractive. And the other thing is when the frames are too narrow and they're tight at the side of our heads, that can cause headaches and, and be quite painful and also push the frame forwards as well on our faces. So, so really, it's really super important that we do get the width right. And the most flattering width is if you look at your face straight on in the mirror and you look just underneath your brow line, what part of your face is the widest? Now, in most people, it's the cheekbones here. In some people, it's the jawline here. But whichever is the widest area for you, that's the most flattering width of eyewear for balance. OK, so that's my key tip there. Get the width right. So we've touched on scale, we've touched on depth and we've touched on width. But what about shape? Now, the shape of your eyewear really is the thing which reflects your unique personality. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit more now. So first of all, what I want you to identify is whether your face is more angular or more curved. And you can look at the images on the, on the screen that I'm showing now. And also, look at yourself in the mirror and what do you have, look at your hairline, look at your jawline, look at your 
cheekbones look at the shape of your brow are you seeing more straight lines and more angles or are you seeing more softness and more curves so if your face shape is predominantly angular if you're seeing more angles if you choose eyewear if you choose to select eyewear with angles or more angular shapes that will pull out all of your natural angles so this is a real kind of hollywood celeb look and and catwalk look where all the angles are pulled out it can it's, it's a very dramatic statement look and it can also can come across as a little bit um severe it, it, you know if if that's what you want it to do but it's quite a dramatic strong look now if you have an angular face and you're much more perhaps you're much more romantic in style perhaps you have a job where you need to be really approachable and open it may be better for you to select eyewear with a softer shape just to soften all of those angles okay so if you are someone who has a softer shape more uh, your face is rounder, your hairline's rounder, your brows are curved, and there's a lot more softness and curves in your face, then if you choose a more angular frame, it can appear to give you angles. It can appear to add a little bit of edginess and drama to the, your look if that is your personality. On the other hand, if you are someone that is in a job that's more approachable and, you know, you need you can work with your natural softness that is in your natural look and you can work with that and it can give a much more softer, flattering look. The only thing I would say to really avoid if you have a particularly round face is really round glasses. Now, there's not many glasses that are really round. Some are more oval and some are more softer cat eyes and those shapes are actually fine. But if you have a very round face, very round glasses aren't so flattering for you. Tip five is a nice and simple one. Simply follow the brow line. Now, brows are really big at the moment. There's lots of people having um, microblading and things like that. So they really are a feature on, on many women's faces. And we don't particularly want to hide them with our glasses. Um, one of the key things we want to avoid with our eyewear is for the eyewear to come above the brow line because that's very, no really unflattering um, but we don't want them to completely cover the brows either um, the ideal shape of the glasses for, is for the upper rim just to follow underneath the natural brow line or the same kind of shape as the natural brow line so if you have a curved upper if you have a curved brow line a nice curved upper rim is flattering if you have a very straight brow line a straight upper rim is more flattering and the advantage of of following the same shape as your brow line is it avoids the two different lines on your face and it works with your natural features and also it can appear to sort of open up this eye area and make us feel more alert and awake which brings us nicely onto my next tip which is eyes which is centering the eyes it's super super important that you can see your eyes in the frame you know our eyes are our connection to others and so it's so important that they are nice and centered in the frame so ideally we want them to be centered horizontally and vertically they need to be at least a third to halfway down the frame for the most flattering effect what we want to avoid is eyes that are being completely cut off by our glasses which is surprising actually how many people out there's glasses you know who can be in quite positions of power and um, that actually have their glasses really low on their faces and really cut off that really important barrier of communication and finally your nose now if you are somebody that you know <laughs> The way our glasses fit can have a really big impact on the size of our nose. And the higher the bridges on the frame, and this is the bridge here, some bridges in frames are set quite high, some are set lower. The higher the bridge, the longer the nose can appear. So if you're someone that already feels perhaps that they have quite a long or dominant nose, don't choose eyewear with a really high bridge. Make the bridge a little bit lower in the frame. And if you're someone that 
feels like they have a little button nose and feel like they need a bit more length to their nose, again, avoid eyewear with a low bridge and have eyewear with a, a higher bridge, which will appear to give more length. So they are my seven top tips on the most flattering eyewear. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do subscribe to my channel and share along with your friends. And if you really want to book in with me for an eyewear styling consultation at Style Optique, you can do that by claiming an eyewear styling consultation voucher, which I've popped in the comment comment one below. Um, or you can also head on over to our website, which is www.styleoptique.co.uk. And thank you for listening to Style Optique TV.